New faces don't mean different expectations. This Andy Kennedy squad has always had one goal, and that's to take the next step. Shot clock down to five. Burnett trying to get to the rim, lays it up, off the glass, tipped in by Saez! They get it in to Giroux, loses his balance, he can't foul, and he walked, they didn't call it, it's off the backboard, it does not matter. Ole Miss comes from behind and wins 90-88. With two tight wins to open the season, that next step is at a place far from home. And what's in store for this team is undoubtedly an experience they will never forget. Hey, Bree, come with uh, CJ. Hey, do you realize you're not jumping? Do you realize you are? I think you should. Like, if you watch Dre, watch. Look, watch his legs. But he, he, he explodes. He jumps high. And for you, I, I think you're a jump shooter. You know what I mean? Like, when you're shooting threes, you're exploding into it, you know? Some guys are set shooters where they don't even barely jump, and they use their arm and their wrist. Every young team's first goal of the season is to find its identity quickly. With over half of the players being newcomers, that means a lot of work. Luckily for this young team, they have a young leader who has been there, done that. On the offensive glass, Curtis out to Abernathy. Todd Abernathy, it seems, has been at Ole Miss. At least seven or eight years. Or maybe a decade. <laughs> Assistant coach Todd Abernathy has a long history within Ole Miss basketball. A fan favorite during his playing time, Abernathy finished his playing career under then first-year head coach Andy Kennedy. So it would go without saying, Abernathy was a perfect fit for coming back and coaching at Ole Miss. The biggest key, honestly, for this trip is, is you guys. If we carry over the things that we practice, that we've been practicing since August, we can beat anybody here. One of our biggest issues is trust, okay? We, I was asking some of the guys, hey, why are you looking around when you're guarding the ball? And they said, well, we're afraid the, the bigs aren't gonna call it. Communicate, be loud. The great thing about this place, there aren't gonna be a lot of people there, so you're gonna be able to hear each other, hear us as coaches. About Oral Roberts, they're one and one. Their first game of the season, they played Baylor, and they lost by 15. What they want to do, though, they want to play inside out. Okay, they have three bigs that are really good. And for example, against Baylor, they scored 38 points in the paint. Now this is their guy, um, averaging 16 shots a game. He is a left-handed beast, okay? He wants to get to his left hand every time. Check this out, he made 27 jump hooks last year. So bigs, you gotta do your work early. If he gets position, there's nothing you can do. Kind of like the kid from UMass. So do your work early and then shade on his right side, forcing him, make him go right. All right, hey, we got a game plan, uh, Jimmy. Yes, sir. We know what we're doing. Load up. Let's load up and go, man. Let's go, baby. Being away from home is tough for anyone. And for parents with newborns, that sentiment is only more true. Right, we got an eight month old boy. And I think my wife is, is struggling leaving him. She hasn't been away from him. So I go recruiting a lot. And so I'm used to kind of being away for a couple of days. But I know for my wife, it's going to be a, it's a big deal. But I think it's much needed, right? I guess. <laughs> when I'm on the beach, I'll probably agree. That's right. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to St. Thomas, where the local time is approximately 10.13 p.m. Use caution when opening overhead bins and some items may have shifted during flight. Welcome to St. Thomas. It's an exciting experience traveling to somewhere as beautiful as the Virgin Islands. But excitement can be seen as a distraction. 
And for this Ole Miss team, it's always business first. But of course, it doesn't hurt to dip your feet in every once in a while. It was American poet E.E. E. Cummings that once said, It's always ourselves we find in the sea. So it's fitting that Cullen Neal's journey to Ole Miss begins here in the Virgin Islands. The coach's kid is going somewhere else. UNM guard Cullen Neal says he is transferring and won't play for the Lobos next year. The junior transfer was New Mexico's 2012 Mr. Basketball and Gatorade Player of the Year. The high honors for the high schooler led him to play for the University of New Mexico under his father, Craig Neal. His freshman year, he played in both the Mountain West title game and the NCAA tournament. Now with his degree from New Mexico and two years of eligibility left, Neal opted to come play for his father's longtime friend, Andy Kennedy. It was just time for me to move on and find another school, and luckily enough, Ole Miss came home. I think I just need to lead this team. Uh, I'm the point guard for the team, so I need to get, make sure everybody's in the right spots, and I need to just be an overall playmaker on the floor. My teammates are family, so uh, we got, we're 2-0, and we just want to keep going forward. Here's a mistake for Oral Roberts off the pressure from Ole Miss. Burnett with a step back, ties the game! And why not? Burnett, 37 points, he's knocked down 9 of 12 from beyond the arc. 79 apiece after Ole Miss scores 5 points in the blink of an eye. If this is the way the season is going to continue to go for Ole Miss, it is going to be a heart-stopping year for their fans. Brooks with a 3. That gets us going here in overtime. And there he is on the defensive end. Couldn't get to it though. It's blocked by Saiz. Falls to Saiz. The tip's there for Hyman. And it's an eight point game. Well, Hyman's been a huge impact here in the second half in overtime. Here's Neal. Quick release and a four point lead. Well, New Mexico transfer has been quiet. He hit one in the first half. Huge triple. And there's that smile that his mom says is back on his face now that he's in a new setting here in Oxford. The two on one. Burnett to Brooks. Burnett with the follow. Burnett saves the day for Ole Miss. They stave off the upset bid from Oral Roberts. It's not enough to offset a tournament record. 41 points and nine threes from the next great volume score. At least that's what it looks to be for Andy Kennedy and the Rebels. Way to do it, boys. Hey, come on, we gotta stay together though. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. together. Good. That one. Hey, you snapped though. Hey. You snapped though, bro. She just told me to just stay in it. He was yelling at me, basically, telling me to stay in it. And that's what I did. The play gonna come. He was like, the play is coming. You finna step up and make a big shot. And then that's what happened. I stepped up and made the three. Hey, man, I told Dre. Dre didn't think we was gonna win. Two straight games. This two straight games, I told Dre he was gonna make a big play to win the game. That's enough. That was terrible. What? I had it right here in my ear. Pinpoint accuracy. But did you see what your base looked like? You were saying, what you mean I did this? I don't even have to do all of that. As soon as I take, as soon as I take the snap, I'm running it. I don't pass. That's just a fake. And I'm wrong. This way more than yours, too. Set. Ready, team. Ready, team, go. I didn't get to that. 
I didn't get to that because I only played Little League. We didn't do all of that. We just said down set hut. Red Shara, you know, but it's getting kind of late, we got a game tomorrow. So, you know, coming some cold guys are just gonna go to bed now, you know. Why not these dudes over here? They're over here clowning. <laughs> Good night. Ole Miss pulls away in the second half. They did it with a strong run to open the half, opening up leads as large as 16 and never let St. Joe's much closer than that. Good win for Ole Miss. First time in four games this year that Andy Kennedy hasn't had to sweat it out there at the end. His Rebels, who have learned to win tight games, today learned to put a team away. Hey, look, I was in foul trouble. I was about to get hot. I'm talking sesame chicken. I was about to go Drake for 41. Listen, that's what we put the bucket. Now listen, high grade. You look exhausted. You don't feel it. Does, does he not look exhausted? Well, I, I told Andrew I fell sick before the game. Yeah, like five minutes yeah, I yeah. told you, bro, that rare steak. You can't get sick off rare steak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Hey, huge second half, man. Huge second half. Now, don't be satisfied. Let's go get us a championship. Let's go get us a championship. All right, let's go. Traveling is always an opportunity for new experiences. For many players on this team, that means getting to do things they've never done before. So we about to go scuba diving? Let's go. I mean, it's been amazing. Like, I mean, if, I don't know if you can see it, but straight over this is like paradise. You know, I've never been to anything like this. So just coming out here with my brothers is just like making us closer. This may be the first time Brooks has gotten his sea legs under him, but on the hardwood, this senior is no stranger to big moments. Brooks with the ball fake. He answers! A junior college transfer, Brooks follows in the wake of other Ole Miss JC transfers, including Stephon Moody and Marshall Henderson. In his debut season at Ole Miss, he averaged nearly 10 points per game and became a key role player for head coach Andy Kennedy. Now in his senior year, he has become the emotional leader of this young and very different kind of team. Uh, coming into this tournament, we just want to kind of find ourselves, you know, see who we are. You know, the first two games were close, so we still trying to get better from those and trying to find ourselves as a team and find our identity and getting better. Try to win it all and go home, you know, with a little more confidence than we had coming in here. I feel like my hair is blowing in the breeze right now, bro. Oh, I'm gonna get some amazing cuts. This is what I do. I was built for this. Been on Earth, man. This is a crazy, crazy experience. Hey, you know? I've enjoyed it too. One day you get on that side. All right, he's gonna push you through. Boom, go. Lift, Tony. Throw. Boom. Playing three games in a single weekend can be a tall order for any basketball player. So while the team is not practicing on the court, it's still on assistant coach Bill Armstrong to prepare the team for anything they might see in the championship game. 
I'm going to show you a few things. I don't want to overwhelm you with all their actions. Everything they do, they do it hard. They run their stuff. we got to be true to our principles. we got to be communicate, help each other, be off to the ball. We're going to switch one through four, okay? One through four on ball screens we're switching because all those fours can shoot. Go over the top big. Don't let him attack you, man. Kind of try to attack him, but use your link. Get your hands up. Don't let him throw lobs on us. But we got to play extremely hard and we cannot relax. Now, you know one way to keep that thing from being lobbed on you? We talk about it as if he comes off that ball screen. Opposite guard just getting his path. You can't jump if somebody's in your path. Ball's coming off, I'm off. So the help him, we're just getting his path. He can't get his feet right. Hey, the big, yeah, exactly. The Don't be so close to him, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Pull up, Not pressure. Don't gap him. him. Right. Gap him. Make sure he's, you keep him in front. Here we got two switch, two switch. Talk it through, y'all. Talk it through. I'm going through. Stay close. Don't worry about it. Keep him in front. Keep him in front. Keep him in front. Switch, switch. Switch. Keep him in front, Keep him in front. Two switch, switch, switch. There you go. Good, good, good. That's the way to talk through it. Your mindset ain't we finna win, don't leave this locker room. Give me jeans, right? Got no AK over that one. They don't got no AK over there. They ain't got that every day. All that work we put in, we gotta bring this one back to Oxford. We gotta bring this one back to Oxford. Good job. Good job. Old Miss looks for its biggest non conference victory ever. Never beaten a team ranked this high out of conference. And if they can pull off the upset here today, it'll give them the championship of the U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam. Jumps into a double team, now dribbles out of it. Throws it over to Brooks, he sizes up a three. Got it, Brooks! Brooks loses a handle for a moment. Now sends it on the right to Eustace, who tries hard to the lane with the one-handed hammer. Woo, Eustace! Davis on the right side to Brooks. Step back, three ball on the way, it's good! Oh, there's your irrational confidence. One of those, don't you dare take that shot. It doesn't even touch the rim. Zern is all up in Burnett's grill. He steps back, a bad shot, but Eustace gets the offensive board. Three ball on the way from Burnett is good! Rebels crashing the glass. Davis now drives the lane left side, puts it up, and scores, and he's fouled. Great Foster drives the lane, puts up the runner, and scores. Timeout Andy Kennedy as the Blue Jays faithful comes to its feet. Three seconds to go. Burnett has his pocket picked by Watson. A runner at the buzzer, no good. Oh, my goodness. The Ole Miss Rebels put together a whale of a first half, and they lead number 12, Creighton, 46 to 40. They scared you, bro. They scared you. I see it in the eye. If you drive, they scared you. I'm going to tell y'all what it is, bro. We got to guard. If we guard, hey, if we guard, the offense going to come. We can score. Hey, we, hey let's go, man. If we guard, let's go. Hey, let's get it, baby. Let's get it. 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 In a trip that was defined by identity, the Rebels were 20 minutes away from knowing theirs. Have the Rebels finally found the spark that makes them a great team, or is there still work to be done? Whatever the case, the 12th-ranked Blue Jays weren't done chirping. For Minovichis, who was such a key in the first half off the bench, he'll start this second half with a nifty move on the baseline. Oh, that was wicked! To inbound from the corner on our left. It's stolen by Burnett. Lobbed up to Neal. Puts it up off the glass and scores with the lay-in on the fast break. A 10-point lead for Ole Miss. Neal to inbound near side baseline. Saez, Neal, corner three on the way. They needed it. They got it. Foster 
Davis did a great job to stay with him, and it didn't matter. Buster's out to 23 now. the Ole Miss lead down to just one. Creighton had proven why they were the fastest scoring team in the nation. And with that momentum on the 12th ranked Blue Jays side, it was just too much for the Rebels to overcome. Burnett with the basketball off the high screen to the elbow, another jump shot, he nails that one. Saving that one out to Hegner and Creighton has come back from 11 down for their first lead since 12 minutes in the first half. The Blue Jays are going to come away with another early season tournament victory. They grinded their way there. The Blue Jays have won the U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam. Yeah, man, it was great down here, man. Try to win the ship, but you can't win the ship sometimes. I think we all had a good time out here. You know, we learned a lot about ourselves. We learned how resilient we are. We learned how good we can be, you know? I'm, I'm kind of sad we didn't get out of here with a dub, but nobody going to go undefeated, so. It was a pretty good weekend. I mean, we would, would have been better if we got the win, but hey, we all fall and um, we're going in the right direction as far as what's next, with my town next, so. Um, learn from this loss here and just get ready for my town there. So.